Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Oh. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Oh, man. Today my mom made a dentist appointment for me, and I don't want to go to the dentist. He's going to give me braces. I just know it. Oh, I could maybe go in the pool instead. Who's calling me? Hello? Hey, Molly. Are you thinking about going in the pool instead of going to the dentist? Whoa. Mom, are you spying on me? Where are you? I'm nowhere to be found around you, Molly. I just know how you think, and this is why you always get yourself into trouble. Whoa, get out of my brain, Mom. Get out of my brain. Molly, go into the dentist's office, please. Fine, I don't want to, though, Mom. I'm scared. You're going to be fine, Molly. The dentist is so nice. But his name is Dr. Payne. How could the dentist who's nice be, be called Dr. Payne? Well, it's not his fault. And besides, it's spelled P-A-Y-N-E, not P-A-I-N. Doesn't matter, Mom. It's still Dr. Payne. Molly, go to the dentist. You're going to be late. Fine. Oh, that was creepy. My mom knew I was going to get in the pool instead of going to the dentist. Moms know everything. They've got eyes everywhere. Okay, now which one is the waiting room? I can never remember when I'm here. Oh, wait, yeah, it's in here. Mom was lying. His name is not P-A-Y-N-E. It's P-A-I-N-E. Well, whatever. Oh, my gosh. I have to go to the dentist. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. Oh, great. It's you. Wait, what? Sarah, you're here? Yeah, I've got an appointment with Dr. Molar. It's Molar. No, it's Molar. Oh. How do these people decide they're going to be dentists? And they just like, well, my name is Dr. Payne. I should definitely be a dentist then. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I cracked myself up. That's funny. <laughs> Your teeth are ugly. Well, that was random. Why do you say my teeth are ugly? Because um, they are. My teeth are not ugly. Look, see, they're really cute. You have buck teeth. You look like, you look like a donkey. What? No, I don't. Go hee-haw. Go hee-haw. No, I'm not going to say hee-haw. You just did. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, you're definitely going to need braces. What? No, I'm not. I don't want braces. I don't want them. Whatever. You know what? <laughs> I have an evil idea. An awful, wonderful, evil idea. <laughs> okay, I'm done evil laughing. But seriously, I'm going to pretend I'm a dentist <laughs> and, and go into Sarah's room and tell her she has the most ugly teeth ever. <laughs> She'll be scarred for life. That'll teach her a lesson. Now, I'm just going to find a dentist outfit around here somewhere. Probably back here. <laughs> Dr. Molar at your service. <laughs> now, let's see. Which room was she in? She's not even in here yet. That's okay. I'll just wait for her. <laughs> oh, Sarah. Oh, good morning, Dr. Mola. What? Daisy, what? what, 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 what? What's wrong, Dr. Mola? I'm here to have my cavity filled. Oh, my God. It's Daisy. I thought I thought Sarah was going to come into this room. And it, 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 it's my sister. Are you okay, Dr. Mola? Come on. I want to get this cavity filled. I like having perfect tea. Um, yeah, sure. Um, okay, uh, just give me a second. You don't seem very confident. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm just looking at my bag for some stuff. Okay, um, shot, uh, what else would I need? Um, an axe? Well, oh, yeah, yeah, that'll work. Okay, and, um, also, um, a cupcake. Ah, uh, mmm, 
cupcakes. Dr. Marla, that's very, very unprofessional to eat a cupcake. Well, you want me to have energy, don't you? Wow, you're so much like my sister. Yeah, <laughs> I bet. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is give you a shot of numbing. What? I don't like shots. Trust me, you're not going to want me to drill in your face without a shot. Oh, yeah, um, that sounds horrible. I'll take the shot, please. Okay, open up and say ah. Don't look at the needle, please. Okay, uh, 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 are you sure this won't hurt? It might pinch a little, but it'll be okay. All right, here we go, right? Yeah, here we go. Close your eyes. Closing them. Oh, oh, no! I accidentally put the shot in your arm! Why is my arm and my hand falling asleep? Um, oopsie, uh, that's because the Novocaine just goes up your arm and into your mouth. <laughs> it's a new way to inject a shot. OMG, you know all the latest things, Dr. Mola. I know I'm in good hands here. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. Um, so let me just take this wrench here, and I'm going to twist your tooth out. What? You're not pointing it out. I just have a cavity. Um, you know what? Um, I'm not so sure that I I can do this today. I, I'm i feeling a little, well, now that I'm, I, I, I'm feeling a little nervous. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Just get in there and get the work done. Okay, fine. Wow, you're a bossy patient. Okay, I have the drill. I'm not sure I'm numb yet. Nope, definitely not numb. Ouchie, ouch, ouch, ouch. Whoa, that's an awful lot of blood. Oh. Dr. Mola? Dr. Mola! Daisy, help. Molly? It's... You're not Dr. Mola, you're Molly. Ouch, and you just cut my tongue. That really hurt, Molly. What are you doing? I can't believe the blood. It was gross. Molly, get out here. Stand up and tell me why you're pretending to be Dr. Mola, crazy. Okay, well, I didn't know you were going to be in here. Who else would be in here, Molly? Oh, my gosh, I'm going to need stitches. Call the paramedics. Daisy, you're going to be fine. It's just a tiny little cut. Molly, what are you doing? Okay, I, I was trying to fool Sarah. Wait, what? Yeah, she was being rude to me, and I decided to pretend to be your dentist. Tell her she has ugly teeth. But then you came in asking for a cavity to be filled, and I didn't know what to do. You would have blown my cover. Whatever, Molly, I'm going to find Dr. Mola. Dr. Molar is not here. It's just me today. Oh, boy. This is not going to be good. Now, excuse me. I have to go into the other room and wait on my other patient, Sarah. Molly, don't do this. It's a bad idea. It's going to go very wrong. Daisy, go to the hospital and get your tongue sewed back up. How will I even be able to talk if they sewed my tongue? I don't know, but that sounds like a win-win situation. <laughs> oh, there you are. Oh, I'm going to give you one star and Yelp for being so slow. Dr. Molar at your service. Wow, you got your hair cut. It's ugly. Well, at least I know she's not just rude to me. Okay, Sarah, sit down, please. I want to take a look at your teeth. They're perfect, of course. Um, I'll be the judge of that. Say, ah! I don't even know why I have to come to the dentist. I mean, my mom makes me, but my teeth are perfect. Shh! Did I tell you to talk? What? Don't talk to me like that, Dr. Molar. Uh-huh, sure. Um, let me just take a look in here. Why do you have that drill? Get away from me! My teeth are perfect! Actually, I've seen a lot of teeth in this office. A lot. Thousands and thousands of teeth! Okay, what's your point? Yours are definitely the ugliest, grossest teeth I've ever seen! What? Are, are you serious? Yeah, your teeth are gross. Why don't you eat another cupcake or drink some more sugar? Mm. Your teeth aren't rotted out of your head enough. That's not nice. And why are you eating a cupcake? That's so unprofessional. I love cupcakes. Ooh, cupcakes. Yum! I can't believe it. My teeth are really ugly. What will I do about it, Dr. Molar? Nothing uh, but to do but to just pull them all out. I've got a big shot here of Novocaine I can give you. And then we'll rip them out with this crowbar. Or wrench. Or hammer. I, I don't know what this is. But it'll rip your teeth out! What? No! I want my mommy! I'm out of here! <laughs> <laughs> Day is made. <laughs> oh, uh, who are you? I'm Dr. Molar. 
Well, I'm Dr. Payne, and you don't look anything like Dr. Molar, so who are you for real? I don't like pranks. Oh, hi, Dr. Payne. Um, I'm your new, um, um, intern from the college. Yeah. <laughs> oh, perfect. Well, then go refill my coffee. What? No, I don't work here. Yeah, actually, you do. And you do it for free because you're an intern. <laughs> I like extra pumpkin spice. Oh, man. So worth it, though. So worth it. Take that, Sarah. <laughs> What is it, Molly? I'm watching something very important on TV. Um, that dog? Wait, what, what, what's going on? A, a frog is taking a photo of a dog? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's pretty funny. Can you ask me after this show? I love it so much. It's hilarious. Okay, I'll just go ask Mom. Mom! 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 Yes, Molly, what is it? Do you need a snack again? No, Mom, no! The newest iPhone just came out! Isn't that amazing? Oh, wow, yeah. I'm still using the model from five years ago. A new phone. Wow, what's that like? Um, I don't know, because I don't have an iPhone, like ever, in a million years. And I'm old enough now, Mom. Um, the latest iPhone is very expensive, Molly. And I'm such an amazing daughter. You definitely want to buy it for me, right? Um, sorry, Molly, but no. What? But, but, Mom! Molly, you could get a job at somewhere in town and pay for it yourself. A job? Ugh, what crazy idea is that? Uh, I'd much rather sit on the couch. Hey, Dad! Yeah, Molly, the, the TV show's finally over. I guess you can ask me your question now. Um, you know how important it is to just, like, chill on the couch, right? Oh, uh, yeah, I love doing that after work. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things to do. Yeah, well, I really, really, really want the new iPhone. Um, but Mom says I should get a job. That's ridiculous, right? Uh, well, I'm kind of on your mom's side. What? No, Dad, you know how important it is to just chill out. I mean, ah, uh, so comfy. Molly, um, I think you just are being a little lazy. What? What are you talking about? Well, I work all day, so when I come home, I like to relax. But the point is, is I worked all day for my money. Yeah, Molly, quit being so lazy. Daisy, stay out of this! I'm earning money by doing chores around the house. Well, la di da di da Daisy. I earn money by jumping on the couch and annoying Dad until he gives me some money. Molly, it's not going to work this time. If you want the latest iPhone, you have to get a job. O-M-G! Oh, thanks, Dad. I almost have enough money for my new iPad. Ugh, my sister is so annoying! Whoa, when did that spooky house build be built next door? <laughs> That's kind of creepy. Daisy, does a witch live over there? Maybe, Marty. Could be. Not really sure. I haven't knocked on the door yet. Well, I really want the new iPhone, so... <sighs> I guess I have to go to town and see who's hiring. Um, probably not the pool. That's going to close soon since it's almost fall. <gasps> I know! I could get a job as a waitress! That would be a great job to have. Ah, my first job! I can only imagine it now. Hey, Molly. How are you today? Oh, I'm good. I just got the new iPhone. Are you serious? How did you do that? I did it because I got a job and I made a ton of money. A million bucks on my first day. What? I want to get a job there. Where are you working? Brooks Diner. <laughs> Hello? Is anybody going to come out and wait on me? Oh, no. Someone must be outside in the outdoor seating. There you are. Oh. I have to get back to my to my job, and, and I need to have lunch, and you're taking forever. Oh, I'm really sorry. Okay, um, hold on. Let me just get out my notebook, and then I can take your order, okay? Okay, I'd like some fries and also a cheeseburger and a Coca-Cola. Large. Anything else? Like for dessert? I don't know. You don't ask me that now. You ask me that after I finish my meal. Duh, have you done this before? Um, no. Also, um, could you be a little nicer? It's my first day. Oh, sorry. I just had to bust a lot of criminals this morning, and I'm very hungry. When I get very hungry, I get kind of hangry. I know what you mean. I'm the same way. Don't worry. Your order will be up in a jiffy. Wow, my first order. Hey, Molly, how's it going on your first day at the job? Um, I think pretty good. I mean, I, I hope so. I've got to make some fries. Well, um, good luck with that. Okay, I think I should turn up the temperature pretty high. 
<laughs> All right, let's see. I've just got to bring out some stuff to make the cheeseburger and, oh, perfect. That'll work. Molly, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, you're gonna catch the place on fire. Oh man, you never turn up the temperature to a thousand degrees. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, okay, let me just set this down over here. Hey, where's my meal? Okay, it's coming. Oh boy. I'll just jump over the counter. <laughs> here you go, see I told you it. It arrived in just the right time so you can get back to your job. This is not what I ordered. Yes, it is. Um, I think. Excuse me, sir, is there a problem? I come to this diner almost every day for lunch, and this new waitress is terrible. Oh, I'm sorry. It's her first day. Well, what did she do wrong? Well, look at this order. I ordered a cheeseburger and fries, and I got turkey legs and spinach. I'm never going to come to this diner again. Oh, no, you're one of our most loyal customers. Wait, come back. We'll give you free food for life. Um, am I in trouble? You are fired. What? I can't be. I, I need this job so I can buy my iPhone. You're fired. Okay, I get your point. Jeepers. I guess I'm just not a good waitress. I need to find a different job. Wow, this grocery store looks completely mismanaged. I mean, they're missing two bags of Doritos. Wonder where that could have got those could have gone. Mm. Probably in someone's stomach. Without even paying. Mm. So good. They need me here. Seriously, they need me. This is gonna be a much better suited job for me because mm, I can eat all the free food that I want. <laughs> I'll have my iPhone in no time and a belly full of cupcakes and ice cream. Ugh, I have so much on my grocery list. I hope this silly little grocery store has everything. I mean, I can't believe we actually moved to Brookhaven. Oh, hello, welcome to the grocery store. Are you talking to me right now? Ugh, what a loser. Uh, hi, I'm Molly. Hi, I'm Karen. Can you go away now? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Oh, rude customer. But I know the rule in customer service is always be nice. So that's what I'm gonna do. Because I want my iPhone, of course. Is there anything I could help you find today, Karen? Uh, yeah, you could help me find a little peace and quiet. Go away. All you've got is Doritos. Are you seriously riding in my cart? What are you doing? Get, get out of here. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Did you just fart in my cart? <laughs> you made a rhyme. Fart in your cart. Excuse me, is there a problem here? Oh, that girl is so annoying. Well, I could ask her to leave the store for you. That would be great, thank you. I'm just about ready to check out. Okay, well, I, I could check you out. Um, let's see, you've got a bag of Doritos, and you've got, let's see, do you have anything else besides a bag of Doritos? No, this grocery store stinks! Hey, wait a minute, what are you doing here? Why are you logging into the computer? I work here. No, you don't! I didn't even hire you! Where's your, where's your work uniform? You don't work here! Okay, well, it seems that your store's a little mismanaged. I'm the manager, and that's rude to say that! Um, I'm really sorry, but it just seems like it kind of is. Are you okay? Did you just have a stroke or something? Oh, well, sometimes I just fall asleep randomly during the day. Oh, wow. That sounds terrible. What's that? Uh, are you okay? Oh, my God. He's sleeping with his eyes open. Mr. Store Manager. It's going to be okay. I'm going to get in my work uniform, and I'll just take over for you, okay? What? What happened? What happened is you sort of fell asleep right in the middle of your work shift. I guess I do need some help around here. All right, you're hired. Really? Hooray! I got an actual job! Try not to be annoying to the customers, though. Farting in their carts is just rude. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry. I ate too many beans for lunch. <laughs> oh, no, it's Karen again. What's she doing back here? She hates this grocery store. You're right, I do. But it's the only grocery store in town, so I have no choice. <sighs> okay, so I need to buy some Coca-Cola because I'm having a party and everyone likes drinking that. Sure, no problem. It's right over here in our cooler. We have about nine cans. That should do it. Thanks. You're welcome. Well, I actually feel useful at my job today. It was better than being a waitress at the diner. Oh, let's see. You've got more Doritos. Wow, you really do like those Doritos, don't you? Are you judging my food choices? Rude. Okay, that's $1.99 and that's $6.99 and um... Okay, that'll be $22. What? 
That's not $22. Do you not know how to do math? What seems to be the problem here, Karen? What seems to be the problem is she's trying to charge me $22 when it's obviously not that. Um, Molly, uh, are you trying to rip off the customer? No, i just kind of terrible at math. Well, I'm very sorry, Molly, but you are... Ah, somebody's robbing the store and the manager fell asleep! Wake up! Oh, God, oh, God, we're all gonna die. We're all gonna die! <laughs> okay, this job's not for me. Definitely not for me. I quit. Oh, man, I'm never gonna get my iPhone. I'm never gonna get my iPhone! <laughs> Why? Why, life? Why are you so cruel to me today? <laughs> uh, well, I better go make sure the manager is okay. Actually, I think I better call 911. That would be a better idea. Um, wait a minute, I don't have an iPhone to call 911! Oh my god, this is terrible! I can't even call the police! Okay, I'll just, I'll run to the police station. Hopefully there's a police officer there and they're not just eating donuts or something.